Well, I'm going to put in at Gray Matter City. The Mumbles man and the Guru, they hunted about three or four hours down there where I was yesterday. They, one went west, one went east. So I'm going to come back here and dig around in the Gray Matter a little bit. It's a little breezy than it was yesterday. It's uh, in the high 40s. That's a 20 degree drop from yesterday. It's supposed to be really in the 70s a good tomorrow. So we have to see how it goes. Stand by. Well, the third target is a piece of gray matter. First target was a brass bolt and a nut and washers. The second one was a a lead fishing head bait head and this is the first piece of gray matter been here 10 minutes it's funny how a mile will make a lot of difference yesterday it was all clad today i got this one penny look how thick it is i wasn't even sure it was a penny when i first dug it up that's the only corn I got. Only a few gray matters. Mostly fishing baits. I got the Guru and the Mumbles Man stuff at the back. They hunted, like I said, right down here where I was yesterday. Because they did better on clad. It's supposed to be a really super day tomorrow. I guess we're going to go spinning again someplace. The tide is starting to get off you know low about 8 eight thirty or 9 now where it's been really you know the crack of dawn and I don't do the crack of dawn very well we'll see how it goes tomorrow stand by good luck to everybody what I gotta tell you and one of the comments yesterday a fellow named Walker 2508 Walker 2508 he said I wonder why you call him the mumbles man <coughs> <laughs> Well, I can tell you, 20, Walker 2508, last summer on many, many, many occasions, three or four or five of us would be spinning down the land of the Nile or on the bay, and we wouldn't find any rings. He'd find two or three, sometimes two or three gold. And we're all shaking our heads, and we got the mumbles, so... After about a month or two of that, every trip, him finding fine yellow tickets, and we're finding stainless steel and tungsten carbide. We call him the Mumbles Man, because every time we went, we came home with the Mumbles. He was a gold chain man for a while. He found so many gold chains, and then he was a diamond man. So we ended up, the Mumbles Man is a better description of him. You'll, you'll find out if you hang around here long enough. <laughs>